ever found yourself musing over what makes up all living organisms? The answer is cells. Cells are the fundamental units of life, the microscopic building blocks that form every living thing from plants and animals to humans. They come in various shapes, like spheres, cylinders, and cubes. And while a single cell can constitute an entire organism in microscopic life forms, larger organisms are composed of millions of cells. These cells carry the hereditary material that dictates the growth, development, and functioning of all living beings. They're like tiny factories, performing metabolic reactions, producing energy, growing and dividing. The journey of discovery began in 1665 when Robert Hooke observed the walls of dead plant cells in cork under a microscope. Progress was made when Anton van Leeuwenhoek in 1674 observed living cells with a more powerful microscope. Later, in 1833, Robert Brown described the nucleus in orchid cells, pushing our understanding further. So the existence of every organism, from the smallest microbe to the largest mammal, hinges on these microscopic powerhouses we call cells. Now that we know the significance of cells, it's time to delve into the different types of cells. Firstly, let's discuss prokaryotic cells. These are the simple guys on the block. They're smaller and lack a nucleus, but don't let their simplicity fool you. They're incredibly efficient, carrying out all the necessary functions for survival. A common example of prokaryotic cells is bacteria. These unicellular organisms are one of the earliest forms of life on Earth, and they play a vital role in maintaining our ecosystem. From breaking down waste to helping us digest food, they're the unsung heroes of the cellular world. Next up, we have the eukaryotic cells. These are the complex ones, larger in size, and they proudly house a nucleus. The nucleus is like the command center of the cell containing the genetic material that directs all cell activities. Eukaryotic cells make up multicellular organisms like plants, animals, and yes, even us humans. They're composed of various specialized structures, each with its unique function. For instance, plant cells have an additional cell wall and chloroplasts for photosynthesis, while animal cells do not. It's fascinating, isn't it? The world of cells is diverse and dynamic, each type tailored to perform a specific role. From the simplest bacteria to the most complex human, we are all made up of these tiny bustling units of life. Whether simple, prokaryotic or complex eukaryotic, each cell type plays a crucial role in maintaining life. With the types of cells clear, we move on to the functions and examples of these microscopic units. Cells are the multifaceted powerhouses of life each with a unique role to play. They are responsible for energy production, growth, and division, among other vital functions. Let's shed some light on a few examples. Red blood cells, or erythrocytes, are the body's oxygen transporters. They carry life-sustaining oxygen from our lungs to every corner of our body and in turn carry away the waste product, carbon dioxide. Next, we turn our attention to the brain, where neuron cells reside. These specialized cells are the information superhighways of our body. They transmit signals to and from the brain, allowing us to think, feel, and interact with the world around us. Skin cells, also known as epithelial cells, hold the protective mantle. They shield our body from external harm, warding off harmful bacteria and viruses, while also regulating body temperature and sensation. In plants, Cells like chloroplasts are the heroes of photosynthesis, converting sunlight into energy, while root hair cells absorb water and nutrients from the soil. These are just a few examples of the myriad types of cells that exist, each performing a specific role. Their functions are as varied as the organisms they constitute, from humans to animals to plants. As we can see, each cell with its unique function contributes to the incredible complexity and diversity of life. So, to wrap things up, all life, whether it's a towering redwood or a humble amoeba, is built from cells. These microscopic building blocks come in different shapes and perform diverse functions, 
from carrying genetic information to energy production. They're the result of centuries of scientific discovery, starting with Hooke and Leeuwenhoek's early observations to Brown's identification of the cell nucleus. Remember, every living organism, from the tallest tree to the smallest bacterium, owes its existence to these remarkable microscopic entities, cells.